discuss the latest developments with tonight's Bream Team panel. Fox News contributor Pastor Robert Jeffress, along with the co-chair of Project 21, Horace Cooper. Welcome back to both of you gentlemen. Good evening. Thank you. All right, I want to play a little bit of a roundup from the mainstream media in January 2021 around inauguration time about what they said we would get with this new president, Joe Biden. President Joe Biden making it clear his administration will be nothing like his predecessors with a focus on truth, science and transparency. A commitment to clarity, transparency, science and truth. A return to normalcy as the Biden administration vows truth and transparency now. As the Biden White House vows transparency and truth when sharing information with the American people, what does that mean? We're going to talk about it. As this White House promises to bring truth and science back to the White House. It's getting back to the truth and valuing the truth. Okay, gentlemen, against that backdrop, you heard our reporting from Lauren Blanchard talking about the number of statements the White House was addressing that the president made last night. I want to put up a full screen, too. Also, this comes from um, some fact-checking that was also done on uh, some of what the president said last night. And we'll just let, you know, that be up there for people to see. Um, they talk about all kinds of different claims that either needed context or they just weren't actually true. Um, Horace, what do you make of that? Because we were told lots of transparency, lots of truth, and last night uh, there was a lot of head scratching. Well, this has been nothing like the Trump administration. Uh, we have gasoline at the highest price than most people have seen in almost a generation. We have inflation running rampant. We have a creation of an artificial attack on employment that's worse than what happened with the Obamacare employer mandate. We're actually making people move from the towns and states that they live to places that aren't as draconian. And the vaccine mandate and the passports associated with it are doing almost the same. This 100-person employee rule is really going to restrict job growth. This is the exact opposite of the kinds of amazing economic opportunity that the American people saw. And it's no surprise that they're telling every pollster that they can find mm -hmm. this isn't what we expected. Yeah, I'll talk about that in just a second. But, Pastor, um, you counseled and, and were friends with and still are with President Trump. He was accused many times of needing some fact-checking himself, some hyperbole, and, uh, you know, his critics would say outright lies about some of the things that he said. So I know you've canceled, ca counseled him through that process, but it's now a new president, and he's having to deal with this. And as Horace said, the, the polls show us that people just don't have a lot of confidence in where this administration is going. Gallup has this report. Um, they say that his average third-quarter job approval rating is down eight points from his second second quarter rating and 11 points from his first quarter rating. This 11 point decline is larger than any prior president registered between his first and third quarters. Uh, Pastor, you have any advice for this president? <laughs> well, let me tell you a real life example of what you just uh, illustrated there. I was talking to somebody recently with whom I've argued for five years about President Trump. She was a true never Trumper. And she said to me recently, even though I'm still not a fan, I would vote for Trump today compared mm. to that disaster we have in the White House. And I believe you're seeing many people feel that way. And you know, Shannon, there are a lot of Christians like myself who are disappointed in the results of the election election, but they started to pray for President Biden, as the Bible says we ought to mm -hmm. pray. But over the last nine months, as they've watched him pursue this godless and moral agenda, their prayers are changing. They are praying now that Biden will fail and fail spectacularly uh -oh. in this leftist agenda. And I think their prayers are being fulfilled as we watch the Biden presidency implode before our very eyes. Okay. And Pastor, I I'm sure that you would delineate here that we do pray for the person, that they'll be safe and that they'll be protected and guided to do what is right and have wisdom. If you don't like their agenda, maybe that's a different thing. Uh, but I want to ask you, too, about Vice President Harris, because she's got a video out there um, that is being played in churches in Virginia about the gubernatorial race there. I want to play a little bit of that. In 2020, more Virginians voted than ever before. And because you did, you helped send President Joe Biden and me to the White House. This year, I know that you will send Terry McAuliffe back to Richmond. So early voting has already started, and this is the first year that you can vote on Sundays. So please vote after today's service. 
Okay, so Pastor, you have hosted high profile um, candidates, political figures. You got to be really careful. I mean, to me, this video, she sounds, if it's being played in a church, it is advocating for a specific candidate. Well, let, let me be clear. If those videos are played, it's illegal. It is wrong what they're doing. It violates every known IRS regulation. Uh, when we had Vice President Pence, we followed the regulation. We didn't name him as a candidate. We didn't mention the 2020 election. We didn't ask for a vote. Harris did just the opposite. And what makes this outrageous, uh, Shannon, is the double standard here because you've got the IRS going after a conservative group a few months ago, Christians engaged for several simply saying you ought to vote your biblical convictions, they said, well, that's the same as voting Republican convictions. I mean, it's a double standard at work here, and I'm going to make a prediction on your show tonight, and I know what I'm talking about. Within the next several months, there is going to be some explosive evidence mm. that comes to light that proves the Internal Revenue Service is politicizing and it's being weaponized to go against conservative groups just like it did in 20. 2013. Yeah, I mean, we did see a lot of that, Horace. Do you think that any of these churches playing this very specific voting message for a candidate are going to have audits or any other trouble in Virginia? Well, well, I don't, I don't think there's going to be any audits because the left never gets audited. But I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> That's right. I feel sorry. I feel sorry for those parishioners that had to listen to that presentation. I mean, it looks more like she's reading a hostage note than any actual <laughs> genuine endorsement. So shame on her for being party to this, unless, of course, she was taken as a hostage. Uh, we have no note uh, of any activity of uh, kidnapping <laughs> or otherwise involving the vice president. Uh, we'll be sure to let someone know if any of uh, that news comes in. All right, Pastor Horace, have a great weekend. Great to see you both. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon.